Have you ever had to face reality? Sometimes reality hurts, doesn't it? I had to face reality today in the shower. <clears throat> now, this is going to be a G-rated video, so don't go beyond G. <laughs> the reason I say that is because I've been struggling lately with business from this standpoint. You know, business is good. I've got an ongoing flow of clients. However, I want to scale up. I, I don't feel like I'm helping enough people, and I've been struggling to find a way to get to more people faster. As a result, I have been investing in uh, courses, and I've been listening to so many, quote, gurus. I've been re reading about Facebook and Facebook Live and podcasting, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, blogging, everything. What happened in the shower today is I realized I am more stressed out than I realize because I'm listening to everybody and I'm getting nothing done in these areas. Shouldn't say nothing, but just enough to be okay. So the decision I, I made today was I am going to step back from all this marketing just for a few days and decide where do I want to go. Uh, for example, I have made a decision last week that I'm going to do podcasting. I believe, and it's not just a knee-jerk reaction, by the way. Uh, it's something that uh, I've learned how to do. I've learned how to interview people through some webinars I've done for myself in, in my um, associate company, Stage Time University, my friend Darren's company. I've gotten pretty good at that, and I should use that type of uh, vehicle. It's People are listening to podcasts. Uh, uh, the, the people I'm trying to target are listening more and more to podcasts. That's a space I need to be in. So these are the kind of questions I have to ask myself. Where, where, uh, what space do I want to be in? How do I reach the people? And what is the best medium that fits my style? Those are the kind of questions I haven't been asking because all I've been doing is running from one thing, one, from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. And that can be aggravating, it can be frustrating, and it can be exhausting. And that explains why I've been so tired lately, just feeling like I'm, I'm almost like grabbing for a life preserver to take my business to the next level. The message today is if you're feeling uptight, you're stressed out about your business and you're not sure why, it could very well be that you've got too much information coming in. One of the biggest challenges I have with all the experts out there is they all contradict each other, it feels like. And one person will say, do this on LinkedIn. The other will say, don't do that. One will say, spend more money on uh, Facebook. You know where I'm going. It's just too much information that's contradictory. So if you're feeling this way, you don't have to wait till you get in the shower to figure it out. Just remember what my experience was, feeling all this anxiety and stress and not even knowing why until it occurred to me. I've got too much going in too many different directions. Hopefully this gives you some insight maybe into some frustration or aggravation you've had. Please leave your comments below. How have you gotten through this uh, feeling of being overwhelmed by information? What have you done to step back? Uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.